day one for Battlefield Hardline. How has it fared? Has it been a successful launch or has it fallen flat on its face? Well, it seems the general consensus out there is that the launch has been a great success. There were a few hiccups on the Xbox One platform, but apparently they were beyond EA and Visceral's control. The platform servers were hit with a DDoS, a distributed denial of service attack. For anyone who couldn't play yesterday or got disconnected randomly from a game that they were playing, EA has now stated that the issue has been rectified, so you should be good to go again. Over here on PC, which is where I am, the launch could not have gone any better. As soon as the game was available in the US, I'd already preloaded the game anyway, I hopped on to some servers and played the game. That's it. No connection issues, no crashes within my first 12 hours of game time. Fingers crossed that doesn't change. No loss of stats, nothing. The game just worked, and that is what I was looking for. There have been a few reports from Nvidia graphics card users that the drivers they were using might have been causing some crashes, but Nvidia have now released an update that's specifically geared towards Hardline, and they've added support for the Titan X, which only the robbers in this game could afford anyway because you'd need so much cash to buy one of those graphics cards. So yes, the launch has been successful in my eyes. One thing people have been asking me is how I got access to the game when I clearly don't live in the US. Well, EA were kind enough to give me a review copy of this game, and since all reviews could go live on the day of release, which was March 17th, this meant that my copy was active on the US release date. I've actually been playing the game since Thursday last week, as there were a few servers up that were set allowing press to access the multiplayer and review it if they wanted to, but most of us just took the opportunity to play through the single player, which is exactly what I did. Now, I've posted three episodes of the single player so far. They're all linked in the description for you, and they're annotated on the screen next to their respective thumbnails. So if you do want to go and check out the single player, which I highly recommend, I've very much enjoyed playing it, but you aren't 100% that you want to spend the time to actually complete it, well hopefully my playthrough series should help you. I'll be releasing another episode of the single player each day until I end up completing it. But back onto the multiplayer, which I think is probably the main focus for most Battlefield players out there. The footage in the background is of the ACWR on the map Grow House, and there is a bit of bank job in there too because I wanted to show off the ACWR a little bit more because I think this is probably one of the most versatile weapons in the game. And the only really thing that it lacks is, is hit fire, which is extremely poor, and even with a laser sight. But in most situations, if you're equipped with the ACWR, you stand a good chance of killing somebody. Something else that I wanted to mention, actually, and this has quite an influence on people who like to grind things out within first-person shooters, a lot of people complained in the beta that they thought that Unlocking the gold camo for each weapon was just a little bit too easy. I'm not 100% what the actual kill value was, but now Visceral have increased it to 1,000 kills, and I know it wasn't that in the beta. It was, I think, around 500 actually, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm really happy to see this change. It makes you grind out a little bit more time and set aside some time for, for you making sure that you get the camo that you want in the game, but at it's not such a high kill total that you're going to spend all of your time playing with this weapon just to get the gold camo. It's kind of like a trophy for sort of using the weapon to its fullest extent and getting a thousand kills with it. I think it's a nice round total and something that a lot of people will end up achieving if they put the time in. And that's what I'm doing right here with the ACWR. I'm trying to unlock the golden camo for this weapon and in doing that, it's leaded me to taking a much more infantry focused approach since I first loaded up the game for the first time yesterday. And because of that, I now have some favorite maps and modes already in my mind that I'm gonna be using to try and grind out that camo. Hollywood Heights on Blood Money is, is just awesome. The close quarters battles inside the almost fully destructible mansion gets your blood pumping nicely, and then those lines of sight get extended as you move outside and make the dash back to your own vault to collect the money for your team. Anyone who likes Locker from Battlefield 4 or Metro from Battlefield 3 is going to love Hollywood Heights, but I think they're going to like the block even more. The ACWR makes mincemeat of enemies not protecting themselves in those alleyways to the side of the apartment complex that's located in the middle. 
and does a fine job of keeping you alive when you're in that building as well. And finally, Grow House, the footage that I'm showing you right now. I just love this map. I don't know what it is, and I think it might be that there's loads of different routes that you can take, and there's loads of vertical gameplay that's included as well. But ever since I first played this map over in San Francisco, all those months ago now, when the game was still in development, I just fell in love with this map. It's probably my favourite map in the game right now, or easily is my favourite map in the game right now. If you haven't gotten your hands on Battlefield Hardline yet, then I highly suggest you check out my G2A page, which is g2a.com slash r slash westy, for a great deal on the standard Global Origin Edition, which will go live on the 19th of March, so it is still a pre-order right now, but there are things for console users too. There are PSN and Xbox Live cards on there that you can use to credit your account. So the link's in the description, and if you use the code WEST, you'll get an additional discount on top of what is already a very good discount on the site. But thanks very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a rating and a comment, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Let me know what your experience of Hardline has been like so far. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.